do not embarrass them or shame them. Instead, lift them up. So let me show you how to do that. Number one, if you have a question you ask your kid or your student, you say, you know, hey, you know, Johnny, do you know the answer to this? And Johnny's got no idea. Then don't, don't be a bad mouth and don't make him feel bad. Johnny, you're just stupid. My gosh, I'm so put up with, I'm so fed up with this. Why don't you just go over there? And in front of everybody, you shame him and ridicule him. That's not necessary. You don't need to do that. Instead, find ways to exalt Johnny. Find ways to make Johnny feel important and special. So what you can do is if Johnny's really good artist, then take time to be like, whoa, look at that. Everybody come here, come here, look at what Johnny did. Wow, Johnny, this is so good. Great job on this. Man, guys, we're gonna put this up on the wall. Is that okay? Do you care if I do that? See, then you give him the power. Now he's got the power, he's got the authority. It's just his thing. You really want something from him, but it's up to him. See how that works? Guys, don't shame kids. Don't make them feel bad. Don't use sarcasm. Sarcasm is another poison. You know, instead, use that exaltation. Find ways to praise them, to lift them up, to make them feel good about themselves because they deserve it and so do you. Be blessed.